you guys talking about two king holes and yes Inoue has just uh, knocked out to Parlez in round 10 in a very 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 interesting fight to be completely honest with you where I think Inoue was you know using his uh, reach well to be honest with you especially at the start of the fight when it started and then I think as it went on I think, I mean, Tapales was stood in front of Inoue trying to, you know, brawl with him and take the fight to him. Um, obviously, Tapales wasn't there to box. He was there to go in there and try and rough up Inoue and stand in front of him and, you know, and, and trade. And he wasn't able to successfully do that because Inoue was too good, too quick at, you know, changing angles, pivoting well. Uh, and Inoue was putting some fantastic shots in. And he just really ended up catching Tapales off guard. Tapales ended up getting dropped in round four. I think Inoue won every single round apart from round seven, which could argue, which round seven could arguably have gone to Inoue as, as well. I think Inoue was really good at counter punching um, a, a lot in that fight. I think Tapales was good at making a few rounds close, but I do think it was clear that Tapales did lose the majority of those close rounds because you could just see that you know you, you, you were probably going to end up. Uh, edging it to a new way um yeah i, I think it I think Tapales did all he could. Tapales tried to go to the body and match Inoue because Inoue was really going after Tapales's body a lot in that fight. Uh, uh, well, that was the main cause for the first knockdown for Inoue. Then Inoue was also mixing it up really well upstairs as well, doing all the right things. And yeah, I feel like the difference was though is that Inoue was. He was getting hit a lot more than he was against Fulton. I don't think his defense was as good, but I feel like apart from that, you know, in no way his punch selection was good. But, you know, Tapales was good at blocking quite a few shots as well. I do think Tapales put up a better fight than Fulton did. And Butler has. I think, you know, Tapales has been one of Inoue's toughest tests so far, but Inoue ended up dominating, though, really, to be honest with you. But Tapales didn't go down uh, without a fight, though. He was trying to take it to Inoue, but just ended up getting counter punched and worked out uh, and, and just kept on getting worked out and outworked as the fight was going on. It just, you know, became even more into Inoue's favor uh, as the fight was going on. So I think for. For Tapales, I, I, yeah, I, I don't think he really could have done much more, to be fair. Was, I just couldn't really think of another game plan that he would have been able to do, to be honest with you, to win that fight. I think he did all he could, and in, and he just came up short. I don't think, I think Inoue, I, yeah, I just think Inoue was too quick, and I don't think Tapales had the quick enough head movement to, you know, be, be able to stay away from Inoue, and I was saying this before the fight. Uh, I don't think Tapales has got the movement to be able to keep away from Inoue, and I don't think he was going to be able to outwork Inoue. He wasn't going to be able to do it. Inoue just ended up breaking him down, especially to the body, and then up top, changing angles a lot in that fight. And Inoue, you know, he was hard to hit, but his defense wasn't as good as normal, though, what I'm trying to say. But I think... For Inoue, it's going to be really interesting to see what his next steps are. Does he move up to featherweight next? It's going to be interesting to see, uh, to be honest with you. But Tapales, you know, I, I thought what Tapales did well was, I think, you know, trying to match Inoue with the body work. I mean, it did look like, you know, Tapales was getting quite a few decent shots through, to be honest with you, at times. I think in, what, in one of the rounds, it was round five or something, where round five or six, where they were trading a few blows and stuff, um, which uh, which was good to see. Tapales was firing back a bit in that fight, to be fair, uh, in round five after Inoue had him hurt. It was, it, 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 it was a good fight, to be fair. It was a good fight, but, you know, some close rounds, but I do think that all those close rounds, though, do go to uh, Inoue, to be honest with you. That is what I do think. But yeah, he he's gonna be a really hard man to stop in a way. His he gets his jab going really well, and I feel like you know obviously Tapales didn't really use the jab. He was just in trying to get inside the pocket and get his shots away, get his comp, try and get as many combos going as possible while in the pocket. But in a way, he was good at trying to you know keep him keep him out, uh, keep Tapales at range with his jab, and you know that is what he was able to do a lot of the time. Made it easier for him to pivot and change angles, and then you know put some great shots into the body, then go up top 
uh, pinging some good uppercuts, pinging some good uh, lead hooks today as well in the way. He was doing everything right, to be fair, with his shot selection. A really, really, really good shot selection that in way he's got. And, you know, he really did end up putting uh, Tapales under some serious pressure in the end and did eventually get him out of there. But Tapales was taking some massive body shots in that fight. I'm surprised he, you know, didn't go out of there early because he was taking some massive body shots. Uh, to be honest with you, and Nui was really going at him with them, and Tapales ended up staying in front of him and trying to fire back a bit, so fair play to Tapales. But no, I think in the end, I just couldn't really see Inoue losing that. I feel like as the fight went on, it was going to be more and more in his favour. He's got the great, he's got definitely got the cardio over um, Tapales 100%, as was shown, and, you know, it was, com it was competitive with Tapales slightly in it going into that seventh round. But from round seven onwards, I think it was clear that it was going in no way's way because it, 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 it did look like it was going in no way's way until round four. Then in round five, Tapales started to show a bit more life and make it a little bit more uh, competitive uh, when they were trading a bit. But no, in the end, when we went into round seven, I think it was clear that Inoue was taking over and it was all going in, uh, it, it, and it was all simply going to be going in his direction, which it did in the end. Anyway, I'm going to miss you. Thanks for watching Video Kings. Peace on the bit. Thanks for watching. Peace out.